Even though we firmly believe that you should have professional help when dealing with cryptocurrency, I did promise that we would teach you how to buy Bitcoin. So here goes, and I'm gonna quote from a February 3rd, 2021 article in, Investi in Investopedia written by Adam Hayes. And we're gonna put the link for this in our battle plan. So let me quote. The title is How to Buy Bitcoin Legally in the U.S. I'll read some excerpts, but you should really read and study the entire article in depth because it's talking about the steps to buy Bitcoin. And number one is get a digital wallet. Let me read. In order to conduct transactions on the Bitcoin network, participants need to run a program called a wallet. Bitcoins are not technically coins in the traditional sense, so it only seems right that a Bitcoin wallet will not would not actually be a wallet. Your Bitcoin wallet that you will be assigned by an app or a service provider is essentially an alphanumeric string of random letters and numbers. But you can think of this as your Bitcoin address or your bank account number. Bitcoin balances are maintained using public and private keys, which are the names for these long strings of numbers and letters linked throughout the mathematical encryption algorithm used to create them. The public key represents your bank account number and is the location where transactions are deposited to and withdrawn from. This is also the key that appears on the blockchain ledger as a user's digital signature, not unlike a username on a social media newsfeed. The private key is the password required to buy, sell, and trade the Bitcoin in a wallet. A private key should be a guarded secret and only used to authorize Bitcoin transmissions. Some users protect their private keys by encrypting a wallet with a strong password, and in some cases by choosing the cold storage option, that is, storing the wallet offline. So how would you find a wallet? I suggest you start at the bitcoin.org website, which we'll put on the screen. Then proceed to step number two, gather your personal documents. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission requires users to verify their identities when registering for digital wallets as part of its anti-money laundering policy. In order to buy and sell Bitcoin, you will need to verify your identity using several personal documents, including your driver's license and social security number. Step three, make sure you have a secure internet connection. If you choose to trade Bitcoin online, use discretion about when and where you access your digital wallet. Trading Bitcoin on an insecure or public Wi-Fi network is not recommended and may make you susceptible to attacks from hackers. Step four, prepare your bank account, debit card, or credit card. Once you have a Bitcoin wallet, you can use a traditional payment method such as a credit card, bank transfer, or debit card to buy Bitcoins on a Bitcoin exchange. The Bitcoins are then transferred to your wallet. The availability of the above payment me methods is subject to the area of jurisdiction and the exchange chosen. Step five, locate a Bitcoin exchange. After you've set up your wallet with the payment method, you'll need a place to actually buy Bitcoin. Users can buy Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies from online marketplaces called exchanges, similar to platforms traders use to buy and sell stocks. Exchanges connect you directly to the Bitcoin marketplace where you can exchange traditional currencies for Bitcoin. There are many established exchanges that provide one-stop solutions with high security standards. And they recommend, besides Coinbase, CoinMama, CEX.io, and Gemini. The Investopedia article also lists a few other ways to buy Bitcoin, including Bitcoin ATMs and peer-to-peer -peer exchanges. Again, we strongly urge professional help from a trained advisor when venturing into cryptocurrencies. If you have an advisor that you're already working with, please send us his or her name and contact information. You can do that at economicwarroom.com forward slash advisor. We're offering world-class training for financial advisors, things they'll not get anywhere else. And once those advisors are trained, they'll be eligible to join the NSIC Institute. This is a powerful group that's intended to be on the cutting edge of financial advice. NSIC stands for National Security Investment Consultant. In the Institute, your financial advisor will have the opportunity to meet with top financial service professionals, national security experts, and even learn about cryptocurrencies. Our intention is to collectively promote liberty, security, and the values that make America great. And these advisors will be prepared to help you weaponize your money and to grow it 